Okay, let's talk about demonstrative adjectives. In Spanish, as in English, demonstrative adjectives are words that demonstrate or point out nouns. Demonstrative adjectives precede the noun they modify, and like other Spanish adjectives you have studied, agree with them in gender and number. Let's look at the demonstrative adjectives. We have singular forms and we have plural forms. Let's go over the singulars. For masculine, we have este and ese. For feminine, we have esta and esa. And we also have aquel and aquella. What do these mean? Well, este and esta means this and these. Ese and esa mean this and these. Aquel and aquella mean that and those over there. Let's look at the plural. Masculine is estos, esos, aquellos. Feminine, we have estas, esas, and aquellas. Notice that they mean the same thing. This, these, that, those, over there. So you're probably wondering, how are we going to memorize all these? They all look alike. Well, just remember this. This and these have T's. Este, estos, esta, and estas. They all have T's, so they mean this and these. That and those, they don't have T's. Ese, esos, esa, esas. Look, they don't have T's, so they mean that and those. So just remember, this and these have T's, that and those don't. Also remember, when you are dealing with demonstrative adjectives, remember that you have to decide if the noun you are talking about is singular or if it is plural. Let's talk about how to use demonstrative adjectives. Well, the demonstrative adjectives este, esta, and estos are used to point out a noun that is close to the speaker and the listener. Now this may not make sense now, but just hang in there, I'll give you some examples. The demonstrative adjectives ese, esa, esos, esas are used to point out nouns that are not close, that are kind of middle distance in space and time to the speaker. Now don't panic, don't freak out, I'm going to show you an example. Now the demonstrative adjectives aquel, aquella, aquellos, and aquellas are used to point out nouns that are far away from the speaker and the listener. Okay, so we talked about La Pluma earlier, okay, just one pin. Now let's back it up and talk about two pins, okay? We have two pins now, and they're plural, it's plural, and it's feminine, so it's Las Plumas, okay? So if the pins are really close to my face, and I'm pointing at them, okay, it's really close, so I'm going to use Estas Plumas, Estas Plumas. If the pins are middle distance to me, they're not close to me, but they're middle distance, let's just say, for example, right there, I'm going to say, esas plumas, esas plumas, okay? Now, if the pins are way in the heck on the other side of the room, I chunk them, it's going to be aquellas plumas, aquellas. And why am I using aquellas, esas, and estas? Because the pins are feminine. Okay, and I have to add an S because it's plural. It's more than one pen. Okay. Okay, so here I have Lindsay. And Lindsay has, what do you have, Lindsay? You have a book. Yes. Okay. Well, the book is El Libro. El Libro, it's singular. So, if the book is close to Lindsay, it's going to be Este Libro. Okay. Now, all of a sudden, if I take the book and I put it at middle distance, let's say I put it right here by the computer, Okay, put the book right here. It's going to be ese libro, ese libro, because the book is middle distance to Lindsay. If I give her back the book, it's close in her hand, so it's going to be este libro. Okay, middle distance is ese libro. Okay, close to you, it's going to be este libro. Okay, now if Lindsay wanted to chunk the book across the room, <coughs> go ahead, chunk it. Yeah, she's chunking it. Oh my God! Okay, yes, she wanted to chunk it, and now the book is across the office. Point to where the book is, Lindsay. Point with your other hand. Point with this hand. Point with this hand. Okay.
Okay. So now the book is way over there. It's a kill libro. Way over there. Okay. Now, Lindsay has two books. Okay. Now it's two books. And how do you say book? El libro. Two books would be los libros. Now it's plural. Okay. So now we're going to use estos libros because Lindsay has them with her. They're close to her. Okay. So it's estos libros. Estos libros. Okay. Now if I take the books away from her and let's do middle distance. Okay. Let's pretend this is middle distance. It's going to be esos libros. Esos libros. Esos libros, esos libros, because it's middle distance. If it's close to her and she has them, it's estos libros, estos, estos libros, okay? Now, if Lindsay were to throw them across the room, awesome. Go point, point at them, Lindsay, okay? She's pointing at those books where? Way over there, okay? So it's going to be aquellos, aquellos libros, aquellos, okay? Okay, we're done. Thanks. Now let's look at an example. You see here that Homer Simpson is pointing to the devil. The devil is in close proximity to Homer Simpson. He's really close to him. The devil is going to be our noun. So we're going to use este hombre, this man. Here you see the devil who is middle distance. He's not really close and he's not so far away. He's middle distance. It's ese hombre. Now you see the devil who's right up Homer's nose. He's really up close, so again we're going to use este hombre. Okay, now let's talk about demonstrative pronouns. They're easy, so let's just be patient and pay attention. Okay, demonstrative pronouns. They are the same thing as demonstrative adjectives, only they have accent marks. That's it. Again, why are they the same thing? Only with the accent marks? Let me tell you why. Because when you want to say, I want that, I want those, I want these, to emphasize it, we have to put accents on the demonstrative adjectives. Okay, let's look at the demonstrative pronouns. These are the singular ones, and if you notice, the only thing different is that they all have accents on them. And the accents let us emphasize this, that, these, and those over there. And that's all there is to it. Okay, let's look at the demonstrative pronouns, the plural ones. Notice how they're all the same thing, except they all have accents on them. The reason why they have accents on them is just to show emphasis on this, these, that, and those over there. 